Good afternoon and welcome to Villa Marco, brand new uh, exclusive listing for Villa Solutions yet again. Uh, and uh, this is a great, great property in a very popular location. You've got elevated views overlooking olive groves at the back of the house. Okay, with a nice rounded bow front uh, covered terrace. This is, although it's the front of the house, it's deemed the back of the house, I would say. Um, and you've got parking, a small space for parking here with the gates. Another gated entrance for access to the front door, uh, but there's ample parking uh, just along the whole front here. Okay, this is the kind of uh, second phase of a, of a develop development and uh, your main services, wa waste, water, electric, and all the properties have kind of been adapted and kind of uh, amplified and, you know, kind of enhanced, let's say, then uh, it's all, they're all kind of looking very, very good. So uh, in through a wooden front door, uh, into kind of like a utility storage area where you can obviously put shoes and coats and uh, fuse box there with a relatively new electric uh, water heater there. That's a 200 litre uh, electric water storage tank. Okay, and then you turn around the corner and you're into a really nice open plan living area. Okay, so you've got big kitchen, all appliances are included, um, dishwashers, microwaves, electric ovens, gas hob, there's a fryer there as well, fantastic if you're into that. Um, but yeah, you've got granite tops, loads of unit space, uh, both, uh, and also the windows as well. The windows have been upgraded here, so you've got UPVC double glazed security windows, okay, with the blinds. So there's a lot of kind of uh, good first impressions, I would say. Um, and kind of, yeah, compared to the original builds, this has already been enhanced and uh, adapted. So you've got the vaulted roof, okay. The beams are just there for aesthetic reasons. Nice archway leading into uh, the main bathroom surrounded by a bedroom on each side. Dining area at the far end here, whereby you've got an open fire. Um, obviously you could put wood burner in there, gas fire, whatever you want, but that is a working chimney. And uh, you kind of see it's a nice light space. The flooring is, is light as well inoffensive and uh, you've got an air conditioning unit well two in fact so it's it's uh you've got more than most let's say for the living space um and uh yeah so let's move on into the master bedroom okay so here we have obviously a double room it's got the fitted wardrobes here again with the hitachi ac unit uh, this has got the ensuite with a shower that's got a relatively new glass screen on it, I believe, um, which again is all in good condition, new window, and obviously modernized sink from the original. Okay, so you've got storage underneath there with drawers and what have you. Um, so yeah, they're all fair size rooms and uh, they have the vaulted ceiling again, which is uh, great for the summer because the heat will rise to the top. Okay, so this is the general uh, bathroom. Okay, again, slightly modernized with the vanity unit and mirror. There's storage inside that cupboard there. And then a full-size bath with overhead shower. Okay, and again, vaulted ceilings. All in good order. Okay, so bedroom number two. Again, double and fitted wardrobes. And this one's got a, they've basically made this a, a big kind of part fitted window at the bottom and then a tilt and turn window at the top okay just for security i believe but it lays a lot of light in you got patio uh, record doors as well which all open out so you get a massive view from the bed and uh again you got the ac unit in as well okay so that's half of the house well it's not even half the house to be honest nice sliding uh, patio door uh, leading out onto this fantastic covered terrace with this view okay so this is probably one of the main selling points of the property uh, you've got a, a large internal 8x4 meter pool you've got this lovely covered terrace with views just looking over olive groves and you get fantastic different uh, colors depending on the time of day sunrise and obviously sunsets Big, big terrace around that pool there with the drainage either side. You've got two ladders for access. 
okay and I can assure you nothing can be built in front of this plot here so where that uh, retaining wall is is the boundary and uh, your views and privacy are certainly secured from that aspect okay so yeah it's pretty impressive okay yes you do have neighbors only on either side but nothing can be built in front okay so you've got also these awnings which will retract down as well they can give you a bit more privacy and screen off from uh, neighbors either side that's the um, big kind of panoramic window from the second bedroom there and again you've got the wreckers and also fly screens on all the windows and doors okay so uh, downstairs there you can see that's the essentially the parking space okay for a small car uh, and then you've got steps leading down to what is the third bedroom with ensuite and a huge kind of storeroom and obviously the pool and terrace which is where we're going to finish up okay so this is the third bedroom and it's big okay so uh you've got a newer ac unit there this is a big room guys um i'm not sure whether you get two bedrooms in here but certainly you know a walk-in wardrobe um and it's got an ensuite which we're just going to see now um it's got huge potential okay so this is the ensuite showering toilet sink and mirror with the lights in very kind of light bright and uh simple and i know people have put in kitchenettes in in, in this corner here your services there so it kind of makes sense and then that services the pool area as well okay so this is the final kind of room of the house itself i mean you get some idea of the size from here really because that front view where we, where we started off doesn't give it as much justice as it what it what it has okay um so here is a very very useful storeroom now this is not on the title deeds um but it basically gives you access to your waste pipes to your uh electric pipes and also through to under the property okay so if you want to knock through and create more space then it is there for you to do and you can essentially eventually um add this to the deeds as well so it's a big space it's got concrete floor um you've got services here there's your uh, electric and switches but yeah, basically really useful, okay? And say access to all pipe work. Okay, and then there's another access there up to the front of the property. Okay, so just to finish off, we'll take a walk around the pool and here you get a better idea of uh, the size. Uh, you can say you've got the drainage, that's the pool pump room just in there. But all of this in front is untouchable. It's rustic land and it cannot be built on okay and then this is really kind of like the most impressive i would say side of the house where you can see that lovely bow front rounded with the balustrade you've got the nice stone finish at the bottom as well and then you've got an eight by four.